Hello spring 2021. I'm going to share with you six home maintenance tips that homeowners should be doing ASAP. Welcome everyone to this episode of the Ask Jason Jellius Show. I'm Jason Jellius, Michigan Realtor. Really appreciate you guys tuning in to this episode. Um, if you're new to this episode or if you've been watching and you haven't done this yet, go ahead and follow me on social media. I have all the links in the, the video description as well as on my website. It's all about the real estate.com. And of course, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit subscribe if you're not subscribed to my channel and hit the bell. So you get notified about this episode weekly as well as other videos that I upload. Now, I wanna share with you seven home maintenance tips that every homeowner should really be tackling right about now, okay? Like I said, in Southeast Michigan, it's about 60, 65 right now, actually. Uh, and, you know, we're going to be seeing temps like this. So we need to, to check our house and make sure that everything is good. And while there's a multitude of things that you should be doing, these are what I feel are the, mo the most important, okay? So number one is actually cleaning out your gutters. Now, I recommend having someone do this. They can come out, they got all the tools that they need, and they will clean out your gutters, make sure that, that nothing's stuck in there. If you have the gutters that go in the ground and then they have a pop-up uh, in your lawn, um, I, I recommend making sure that they get all that stuff out. A good professional company will do that. Now, number two is check your cooling system. Hire a company to have your air conditioning unit checked inside at the furnace as well as outside. Make sure that everything's good. Uh, make sure that the outside unit is clean and whatever else that they recommend, um, just make sure that it's working. Don't wait until summertime because that's when they get the busiest time, the busiest calls, right, for these professionals. Number three, check your window and door seals. It wouldn't hurt to have someone do this, or you could uh, if you could access it. Just basically look at the windows. Um, from what I'm told, in the cold weather, Okay, seals can actually break open, can actually expand, you know, because in the cold, I believe things expand and then they go back uh, as it gets warmer. Uh, so from what I know, from what I'm told by experts, uh, you know, window seals could um, get damaged or exposed, whatever, right? Have a window expert look at it or have somebody who knows what they're doing look at it, okay? Uh, number four, actually, we're on four, is Look at your roof. Just go outside and look at the roof. Did anything get damaged over the winter time, the colder months? Uh, did something happen? You know, we, like in Michigan, we had a lot of rain. Uh, many states get a lot of rain as we go from cold to warm weather. Um, how's the roof? Just take a look at it. You can pretty much tell. And if it needs work, then have someone fix it. Uh, number five, clean out the garbage disposal. <clears throat> this one's interesting, but it's because when you come off the holidays, and I know we were in a in a pandemic, many people didn't have large parties or, or gatherings, um, but this is just a general tip that you, sh you should be doing is, you know, throw some throw some ice cubes down in your garbage disposal and then run it for a minute, okay? That will, will actually loosen up a lot of things that gets, you know, grime and disgusting crap that gets stuck on the blades, right? It's just, it's just nasty. Throw a lemon or an orange in there too when you're done. That's a cool tip too. But you know, just something simple like that to make sure that you break up all the grime that gets stuck on there. Um, just a, a quick tip, takes about a minute, okay? Uh, number six, walk around your house. I love doing this actually. When it when it first gets, gets nice out, okay? I'll walk around the house just to make sure, I don't know, I'll just look. You know, sometimes there there's uh, branches and stuff that fall. We have a big tree in front of our house. Sometimes branches fall, you're like, oh, I should clean that up. Um, I'll tend to look look around just to make sure that everything's good. Uh, it just makes me feel good. Uh, who knows, you might find something that you're like, oh man, you know, I should I should probably get that, get this issue addressed or whatnot, okay? And the last one, number seven, is check smoke detectors. Uh, even if you have hard wire smoke detectors, run a test, look at them. If you just have the battery or both, if you have a battery backup where your smoke detector is hardwired into your home's electrical system, 
just test them. Spring and fall is actually a great time to check these. Uh, I check mine often just because I wanna know that they work well. And if they don't, get a new one or change out the battery, whatever the case may be. But, um, you know, matter of fact too, somebody was telling me that uh, you should use daylight savings time to actually remind yourself to check the smoke detectors. So uh, I just looked at mine, actually they work really well. Uh, of course, they're all brand new. I bought them all last year. That could happen, right? But make sure that they work. So I really appreciate you guys watching this episode. Hope you found it valuable. Again, share this with other homeowners or even people who rent, you know, maybe, I mean, they just have to be aware, right? Even if you're renting a home, uh, you know, you may they may be responsible. So um, just share this with others. I really appreciate it. My website again is it's all about the real estate.com. I also invite you to check out my press page where I have been featured in many helpful articles that provide further advice. Uh, so go ahead and do that. So otherwise, I'll see you guys next week. Thanks everyone for watching this episode of the Ask Jason Julia Show. Be sure to visit the links in the description below to pick up your copy of my real estate book, Think Like a Realtor. It's a little book about buying and selling residential real estate through the eyes of a realtor. It's real world advice, tips, uh, whether you're a new agent in the business or you are a home buyer or even looking to sell a home, this is great advice. So I really appreciate it. If you guys visit those links, pick up your copy uh, and go ahead and share a review, uh, good or bad, if you like it, if you hate it. Okay. But get your copy today. Thank you.